have you ever been sitting around and decided that you want to pretend to be Grand Thumb? If you have, go ahead and mash that like button. Go ahead and jump down in the comments. Uh, these comments are usually empty. That's okay. Let's see if we can get them out of control. Okay, enough pandering to Mike Jones and Grand Thumb. Um, today's video is just a quick little rundown Mossberg 500. We're going to go ahead and ensure that it's clear. Chamber is clear. And after I close the bolt, I can reach in and make sure that the magazine tube is empty. This Mossberg 500 is dressed out with Magpul furniture, which is always nice because now I have an adjustable length of pull. The rear comb is one that I can even tuck it under my arm and run it like it's a pistol grip. The end gives me a retaining spot for the back of my hand. I've got it dressed out with a fancy sling. But the main focus of today is just simply operating the Mossberg 500. Just simple operation. But I don't want to stand around and load live rounds in the shop. Obviously, this is not a range or a training environment, so I want to be safe. So what's an inexpensive way to be safe? Snap caps. So right here, I got a couple of 12-gauge snap caps. We'll go over the easiest ways of loading. Go ahead with the bolt closed so that the elevator or the lifter is up. Go ahead and insert them all the way into the magazine tube so they're past the shell stop. You'll see that that's going to leave the loading port open. Take your next one, slide it in, push it all the way in past the shell stop. So now I've got two rounds in the magazine tube, but can't shoot them from there. So I've got to go over here to my bolt release, right alongside the trigger guard. Press the bolt release. Bolt to the rear, bolt forward, now it's live, of course we're on safe, then you would sight in, take your safety off, kaboosh, exaggerated for TV. Now I got to get that expelled round out of there, so I just go ahead and cycle the pump, bad round's gone, fresh round ends up on the lifter or the elevator, pump forward, round in the chamber, you're good to go. Do it all over again. The end of my firing cycle or firing iteration is over. I can go ahead and visually and physically inspect my chamber. Safety back on. Close the pump. Magazine tube is empty. Now I have a safe Mossberg 500. Some of the things I like about the Mossberg 500, of course, it's a simple tried and true design. Two action bars. And pretty much anything you put in here is going to fire. And it's reliable. It's easy to wield and easy to use. Sometimes we get ourselves into a bind where we get something that's complicated and then there's a bigger learning curve. So just a quick little what for video, a little bit of screwing around in there, but always some safety in there. Ensure your firearm is unloaded before you do stuff like that. And before you come off the range, ensure that it's unloaded as well. That's all I got for today. Everybody stay safe.